Big news coming in at the top of the bulletin where amid the BBC documentary storm, the Russian Foreign Ministry has called the film on the 2002 Gujarat riots as evidence of waging information war. Strong words coming in from the Russian Foreign Ministry. The Russian Foreign Ministry has said that the BBC has become an instrument of the interests of some groups and should be treated accordingly. That's the big piece of big news that's coming in where on the international front, India's fair weather friend, the Russian government has come to the aid of the central government here in India when it comes to the international ramifications of this film. Because remember, many student groups are also uh, are also showing this film, which has been banned by the center, which shows a very skewed view of the 2002 Gujarat riots. They have taken that documentary to campuses in the United Kingdom as well. But now the Russian government saying this is an a case of information warfare. I'm joined by my colleague Abhishek on the phone line who's getting us this piece of breaking news. Abhishek, so India's fair weather friend uh, currently and very strongly with using strong words in India's corner. Uh, and uh, of course, Ashman, and not only that, the Russian spokesperson for Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, she said that uh, now the BBC is not an independent television and uh, radio company, but uh, a dependent one and often neglecting the basic requirements of the journalism profession. They have also said that the information war, the waging of information war that the BBC is doing, uh, is sh it, it, this company is doing it for every other country which is pursuing an independent policy, which is pursuing an, an independent uh, aspirations. And in that direction, uh, India is also one of the countries where this information war is going on. This is what uh, Russian version of uh, uh, Foreign Ministry spokesperson is. Russia has always blamed not only BBC, but other uh, Western uh, media organizations also of waging an information and misinformation war against Russia. Uh, and the, the latest documentary that we are currently talking about, which depicts uh, or describes uh, Gujarat Royce and role of uh, the as well, uh, Chief Minister Narendra Modi in Gujarat, uh, is uh, being seen by Russian side in that uh, manner only, where they are seeing it as a, as a, as a piece of information, as an instrument of uh, information war against any country which is pursuing an independent policy and which is emerging as a center of power and is, uh, is, is, uh, is actually challenging the established uh, power centers of Western world. Right, but at the same time, Abhishek, uh, the Russian government is also in a way shooting off India's shoulder when it comes to targeting the BBC for its coverage of the war in Ukraine. Uh, of course, because uh, we have seen in the past that Russia has uh, totally blamed the Western propaganda done by AFP, Reuters, BBC or other organizations. So much so that there are, as of now, uh, mostly the USA-based media organization or UK-based media organization, they have been asked to leave uh, Moscow uh, and because they, they cannot report directly from Moscow because uh, apparently because uh, so many of propaganda or misinformation from Russian side uh, force the Russian government to ask them to pack up from Russia. And the same has happened with the Russian news media organization in the Western world also. So uh, Russia is long uh, claiming that it has been a victim also of uh, Western misinformation propaganda and now it has also taken action against them. Uh, and the same goes with Western world also that they say that Russian uh, media machinery has always tried to portray Western world in a, in a bad light. Right. Thank you, Abhishek, for getting us that piece of breaking news. So Russia firmly